Hey, boat friends, here in Duluth, Minnesota, you can see the area lift bridge is going up to 135 feet. We have a huge ocean going vessel that's going to be coming from this direction. It's going to be heading underneath the lift bridge, and we're going to be able to see, got some waves. Let me get you caught up here with the weather. 63 degrees here in Duluth, and that Sky Harbor Airport, that's at the very end of Park Point, so only a few miles away from the lift bridge here. 24 mile per hour wind out of the northeast. Visibility, 10 miles. Now the bridge is fully raised to 135 feet. Let me give you a quick sneak peek of the ship we're going to be watching, the Federal Delta. Good looking ship. You can see the four cranes. It's going to be really large going by us. There's that superstructure. Make an appearance behind the houses right here on Park Point. Look at those cranes. Really, really good looking vessel. You can see the radar spinning on top of the flying bridge right there. This is going to be awesome. The Federal Delta will be heading out to Lake Superior as it goes by us on the canal. Well, let me show you where it's going to be going. There's the Federal Delta doing 4.8 knots in the Harbor Basin. It was over at Ash Grove, which is right here. It was offloading powdered cement from Turkey. It's going to be going under the aerial lift bridge. That's where we are at right now and heading out to Lake Superior on its way to Thunder Bay, completely empty. Here's the ship on its way under the aerial lift bridge. Really nice sunshine right now to be able to catch the nice red and white and also off-white color scheme on this vessel. I do have the decibel meter with me, so we'll have to determine how loud the horn is. I'm a little further away, so we'll still get some type of a reading. Take a look at the flags on the Corps of Engineer building, right in the direction of the bow of the Federal. 656 feet in length, built in 2018 in Japan. The owner is FedNav out of Canada. Lots of vessels in their fleet. Carrying capacity, 20,000 tons, six holds, six hatches. The hatches are hydraulic folding. Four deck cranes, as you can see, in the Port of Registry. One oh nine point six for the decibel reading with the horn. Take a look at this beast coming through. And as I'll continue, the Port of Registry is a Marshall Islands. That's in the Pacific Ocean. Look at the dual anchors. You have an individual up there on the the bow. Look at it pushing through. Give you a shot of that superstructure. Look at these cranes, very large in person. Take a look at that bow, fighting through Lake Superior. This is a very tall ship, it's sitting empty, so it's up out of the water. Let's take a better look at the superstructure. You can see the flying bridge at the very top there with the radar that's spinning. Got some satellite domes as well. Beautiful, beautiful ship. You can see the FedNav logo with that F there on the stack. Lifeboat. Rudder is slicing through the water. Let's stick with this beautiful vessel as it heads to Thunder Bay. We'll come right out here to the very end of the South Pier Lighthouse. Give you a better shot of that stern. Well, if you enjoyed what you just watched, please hit that like button, the thumbs up button. That'll just help other individuals that enjoy ships like us to find this channel. And also hit subscribe, because I live stream these ships and if you're subscribed, it'll pop up and you'll know when I'm doing it. So. Boat friends, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching the videos. I'll be out here with the next vessel. If you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.